What's going on YouTube? Today, we have a little bit of an upgrade for my car audio videos. And let me show you what I mean. And this is what I'm talking about. A 100 amp, 12 volt power supply. It'd be cool to uh, power up some stuff and uh, have some fun down here. So before, I used to try to power amplifiers on this little guy here. Let's see if I can find any details on here. So I see five amps right there. So there's a five amp small power supply. So before, I would try to power a car stereo and let's say a small amplifier. And as soon as I turn it up, it would shut off. So I purchased this Power Max 100 amp AC to DC power supply. And from what I've seen, this should do the trick. I've had this for over a week now and I haven't opened it. So we're gonna open this together and see what's inside. And as I mentioned, I haven't opened this up yet. I'll show you guys a piece of tape that's intact right there. All right, it's all together still. So let's open this up. Let me get a knife. Here we go. And I'll tell you, this, this small box is pretty heavy. So we got some instructions, very nice, all right, and there it is. So let's pull this out, Okay, so I pulled it out. Let me see if there's anything else in the box. I don't see anything else. Get this box out of the way. And here she is, guys. This thing looks serious. Very nice. And like I said, this thing's pretty heavy. Take it out of the bag. Looks nice, nice and shiny. Just looking around, everything looks untouched. Very new. Here we go. So the cord looks very heavy duty. Okay, I'm gonna set this down so we can look around this thing. Okay, as mentioned, this is a 100 amp uh, 12 volt power supply. And as you can see, it's made by PowerMax. And here's the front of it. So there's your negative and positive. There's four fuses there. They're all 40 amp. All right, that's one side. Okay, here's the other side. And on this side, you get two dials. So this dial here, you can either switch it from a fixed output or a three-stage uh, output power. So what I mean by that, this is actually used in the RV world as a battery charger. If you move the dial over to the three stage mode, what it'll do is it'll charge and it'll keep the batteries charged in three stages. The fixed is just a constant uh, output of power and you can vary that power from 13 volts to 16.5 with this dial over here. Okay. 
set you guys down for a second because this thing is pretty heavy and I got to move it around. Here's the back. Big fan. All right. Other side has nothing. And let's see what this bottom looks like. And the bottom has nothing to show. So this is the upgrade I was talking about. And hopefully this thing powers up some amplifiers. And I'm able to, again, have some fun down here. I got my little table going. And I bought a amp kit. Very high-end stuff right here. So let's get this going. I'm going to bring this over to the table. Open up that wire kit. And uh, get things going. Let's see if this works. So before I move it over to the test bench, I do have to put it in fixed rate, which I did already. There's a small little switch. I'm not sure if you guys can see. I'll try to give you guys some light so you can see in there. It's going to be very hard. But there's a little switch that toggles back and forth. It's over to the right at the moment. And inside this little hole, there's a little dial. It's either counterclockwise or clockwise. You can move it. So let's see where it's set from factory. We'll go from there. So let's plug this thing in. Okay. We got a green light. I hear the fan going. Okay. Meter shows 14.5, which is good. I might just leave it be. Take it over to the test bench. So let me disassemble some stuff and we'll head over to that test bench. I got everything wired up. I got this going just to make the video go a little faster. But she is all wired up. So I got this amplifier bridged at the moment. And I got the low pass filter on. And I was going to use a Optimus amplifier. But these terminals are really small and I didn't want to deal with it at the moment. So let's plug this in and see what happens. Here we go guys. And we got a green light. That's going good. And we got a red light, so that's good too. So I'm going to be playing some YouTube approved music. Interesting. So every time I turn it up, it cuts out. Let me look into that and I'll be right back. <clears throat> what the problem was, the amplifier has an issue. Whenever the power supply puts more or anything above 13 volts, for some reason this amplifier doesn't like it. So I got another amplifier and it's all wired up, ready to go. And here it is. And I kind of gave it a little bit of a test already. So if you guys, uh, are watching this video and thinking of doing the same thing and do this at your own risk let's get some music going let's see how this works out
I'm gonna try one more song for you guys. Overall, I think it's doing pretty good. Um, definitely pushing the amp. The amp is definitely warm. That's one thing about these old school amps, they used to get hot. This thing's pretty hot, so I'm gonna give that a break. As far as the power supply, it's starting to feel a little, little warm, but nothing like the actual amplifier. This thing even smells kinda hot. I'm kinda surprised uh, it's still going. I mean, it's a pretty old amplifier and uh, she's still pushing hard so i'm very happy that i purchased the power supply and hopefully this power supply can push something bigger than this little guy so again i just wanted to show you guys my new setup so thanks for watching everyone and i will see you guys on the next one